uh, or in the European way, it is uh, um, Kotoko, first name, and Madono, family name. Uh, she is uh, now a PhD candidate uh, at the Graduate School of Asian and African Area Studies of Kyoto University. Today's uh, title of her presentation is The Circular Model of Existence uh, Reflected on Writings of uh, the Akbarian Sufis in the Ottoman Empire. So, Ms. Madonna, please start. So, thank you uh, for your in introdu introduction uh, of Tona, uh, Professor Tonaga. Uh, and uh, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, can you hear me, by boy? Okay, ah, thank you very much. Uh, so I am uh, sending you uh, uh, my article of today's presentation. So I'm glad to see the article uh, according to my uh, presentation and you can find the PPT also, uh, as well. I'm sharing now uh, my PPT, so. Oh. Uh, can you see the presentation PPT? Okay, ah, thank you. Uh, so uh, here is my title, The Circular Model of Existence Reflected on Lightings on the Aquarian Sufis in the Ottoman Empire. So I am a student of Asafas and I'm studying uh, on the Ottoman uh, Sufis uh, especially. And uh, I am uh, 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 telling you about uh, the one concept uh, of debit in Turkish. Uh, today I will uh, sharing with you. So uh, this presentation aims to examine the circular model of existence called the David in Turkish. They are various Sufi writings based on the concept of David, which usually called Debriye in terminology of studies of literature in Turkey. In this kind of writings, we can find a lot of mystical poems written by Ottoman Sufis. Originally, David means a circular way that all beings have been manifested from the oneness, uh, namely God, and it come back to him. And it has been imagined as a circle called daire in Turkish. Also, Devi is theoretically based on the unity of existence, uh, uh, in Arabic, it's and uh, have an ontological framework. Devi have not analyzed enough with philosophical perspective so far. In this uh, presentation, at first, I would like to reveal the definition of David. So through Niazi Musri's prose work, Risale Devriye, written in Ottoman Turkish. Musri is a great Sufi poet of 17th century Ottoman Empire. And at the same time, he was a thinker positioned in Aquarian tradition taken from great Shaykh Muhyiddin Ibn Arabi and his followers. Second, I would like to analyze the meaning of Debir in different texts, including a book of Muhammad Nur al-Arabi, who is a commentator of Muslim's poems. So uh, before I begin my analysis of Debir, I would like to give an overview of the word Debriye, which referred to a work on the subject of Debir. The original word for Debir is a verb daur, uh, which is de derived from the Arabic verb dara, uh, and it has a wide range of meaning, such as a circle, roll, age. Works on the theme of this Debir are called Debriye in Turkish. Uh, in the study of literature under the uh, Republic of Turkey, uh, the term of Debriye is generally associated with rhythmed works, uh, poems. Uh, for example, the term Debriye is used in the Dictionary of Literature and Criticism, published in 1954, as a name of a group of rhythms whose subject is a theory of Debir. And uh, 
uh, another one uh, it's referred to as a group of poems that deal with the theme of devil in Sufi literature. Even if we refer to classification by Uchman and Gedik, which is relatively not new among the previous studies, they explain that the majority of Debrie are listened works. In Turkish academic cycles, the poetics and the literature of uh, Sufism are uh, dealt with in the realm of lit literary studies. Therefore, it can be said that past studies have emphasized the uh, debris as a form of literature. In addition, previous studies on debris have con concentrated on classifying various works as debris rather than classifying the meaning of devil, but their classification of the works of debris is done with analyzing whether each work is truly debris or not, and without comparing and verifying the work with each other. On the other hand, it can be overlooked that recent study on debris by Gedik, a, a Turkish a scholar, even without the detailed analysis on each debris poem, has raised a new perspective. Gedik argued that up to date, our famous debris texts have generally have generally been attributed to poets belongs to Bektasie lineage, but he added the uh, and when we examine the text of poet belonging to Halbeti and Merami language, it becomes clear that they express in words much more and in a more explicit way than Bektasi text. So uh, it is certain that the longest accepted theory in the study of Turkish literature is to regard the Bria works uh, by Bektasi poet and uh, main, as a mainstream. For example, the above mentioned uh, a book, uh, in uh, our literature, the Brie works were more often written by Bektasi poet. Poets associated with other Sunni tariqas did not pay much attention to them because they were concerned to confusion. Uh, in another uh, book, it is also stated that uh, Debrie is a group of poems written to explain the theory of devil in the form of unusual poems belonging to Iranian and Turkish Sufi literature, especially Tekke literature, popular literature, Bektasi literature. Gedik point out that such long accepted theory in the study of Turkish literature is due to the fact that devil has been confused with heretical concepts such as reincarnation, reincarnation uh, and the uh, incarnation like in trend of Bektasie. Uh, Gedik indicated that such as factor has caught the attention of researchers so that only Debrie works from Bektasie poet have been studied and judged to be numerous. In essence, as we will see later, Debbie seemed to have been distinct from such heretical concept. However, it can be assumed that in the process later, uh, they, they will seem to have been, ah, sorry, uh, uh, other cons, uh, however, it can be assumed that in the process of hanging down a mystical knowledge called the devil, they have been confusion with other concepts. In any case, the definitional issue of what constitutes debris work will have to throw, throw <laughs> examined after reconfirming the meaning of David. Nevertheless, as many studies have pointed out, David corresponds to a secret, esoteric, and difficult knowledge in Sufism. In addition, there are few researchers who are willing to analyze the work of David based on the concept of David. And it is difficult to say that any of the studies that have been done so far are complete, considering the trend in the study of Sufi thought under Turkey, which has gradually be began to allow various research themes in recent years. I, I assume that studies of Devil and Devrier will be increasingly passed in the future. My aim is in the 
uh, in this presentation is also a small step in studies and a small contribution toward a comprehensive understanding. So next, I uh, would like to introduce Niyazi Musri. Uh, next, uh, uh, I, I'm giving an overview of Niyazi Musri and his prose work, Risale de Frie. Uh, Musri was a singer and a poet of the 17th century Ottoman Empire. As many Sufis of Ottoman Empire, Ottoman period were poets, Musri also had many poems and his masterpiece, D1, still has a large leadership. Therefore, previous studies on Musri's work uh, have many mainly focused on his rhythmed works, and there is not much interest in his prose work with the exception of Mawaid al Idfan in Arabic. Also, Guzel has made a transcription of Musri's Risale de Brie into modern Turkish. There was there has been no research on the subject of on this book. I consider the Risale de Brie is an important work for understanding the structure of devil and should be referred in order to be um, um, uh, Musri's ideas. So uh, Musri uh, born in Maratia in uh, Eastern, Eastern Anatolia uh, in 1680. Musri travels throughout the Islamic world in his years and he received training from several tariqas. In course of uh, his travel, he stayed in Cairo, Egypt. Uh, that, uh, uh, where he came to be known as Musri. Uh, after a long journey, Musri uh, returned to Anatolia and completed his Sufi a training under the shaykh of Harbetia, Ummi Sina. So in the 17th century, uh, there was a religious movement of preachers called Kazzar de Rilet, and their anti-Sufi trends uh, developed into social problems, such as a temporary burning of some tariqa's activities and practices that were said to have originated in Sufism. Musri was affected by this movement and he sparked the debate as a leading opponent of Kadzade sect. But the result, Musri himself became a target of population. He was sent in exiled three times during his life and the island of Limnos became the, became the final place in his life. In history of studies on Islamic thought, Musri has been regarded as a member of school of Ibn Arabi, consisting of Ibn Arabi and his successors. However, he has not left any commentaries on Ibn Arabi's works, and no obvious genealogical link to Ibn Arabi can be confirmed. Whether or not Musri is a member of school of Ibn Arabi is a question that needed to be fully examined in the future, along with its definition, but there is no doubt that uh, Musri was a Sufi thinker influenced by metaphysical based on the teaching of Ibn Arabi. So uh, next, uh, about Risale de Brie, it a work of Musri. Uh, it is said that the following works are the prose work of De Vrie. I assume that of this, Risale De Vrie was the most systematic and influential. One factor that supports this is that El Zulmi cites from Risale De Vrie in his best known book, Marifet Name. So, Risale de Vrie is written in Ottoman Turkish and consists of two parts. The first part is an overview of the main theological and philosophical terms, and the second part is a statement of his own views on them as one of, one of the people of wisdom. So in the later part, he explains the theory of devil with using terminologies of Akbarian tradition, such as perfect man. In this presentation, I would like to focus on the second half of the three types and examine the uh, significance. Uh, in that part, devil is explained by a term of cycle of existence, in Musri's usage, the circle of existence is a diagrammatic uh, representation of David. Uh, 
uh, here is a figure. Okay. And so what is devish? The, in the circle of existence, the first journey from the first opposition to the middle is called the beginning. And the first uh, 180 degree same circle is called the arc of descent. First, we look at the, this first arc at the beginning of the second half of this array debris, mostly states as follows. Uh, now I'm skipping to read quotation. So as a summary of this, according to Musri, the genesis of all things in this world began with a universal intellect, also known as the first intellect or first substance. Then each of three things, the second intellect, universal soul, and highest heavenly sphere, arise from each of three gnosis contained in first elect gnosis of trust, gnosis of soul, and gnosis of necessity. And again and again, uh, the repeated in this way. Uh, so, um, so three things, uh, intellect, soul, and the heavenly sphere are said to have nine levels each with the intellect as a sphere begin to the other two. And under the last ninth heavenly sphere, uh, the lunar sphere, uh, the four elements, which are the root of all of living things emanate uh, under the last uh, last one, uh, lunar sphere. So um, the first four elements, uh, the emanating in order the, of fire, air, water, and earth began to act and transform each other. Mostly described each element as follows. In the course of time, fire abandoned its form and entered to the form air, and the fire changed into air, blah, blah, blah. So according to Musri, the change of the form of fire, or air, water, and earth in turn called metamorphosis, is the and its principle is related to their nature, tabiat, on which each element is based. So the metamorphosis metamorphosis of four elements, like, it's like the quotation. She calls a path of beginning for the cycle of fire, air, water, earth. Likewise, he calls a path of return for the circle of earth, water, air, fire. According to him, in tra tra transformation of from water to earth, when there is too much witness, water becomes clay instead of us. This clay or sticky clay is the first object on the other arc of the circle, and the minerals, plants, animals, and the human beings emerge from it. So the next, the second arc, is the path of return. In the circle of existence, the another journey from the middle to a first position is called return, and the second, a 180 degree semicircle is called the arc of ascent. A Mercy's description of second arc began with the following explanation. Uh, now I'm skipping this quotation. Uh, so I, according to Mercy, this uh, there is color between minerals and plants and date palm tree uh, between plants and animals and monkey between animals and human beings. In other words, each of the four categories, uh, so minerals, plants, animal, human beings, has intermediate beings. For example, cola is the highest being in the hierarchy of minerals and the, the lowest being in the hierarchy of plants. So in this way, we can understand that circle of existence completed with, uh, completed when each rank is formed with a grad gradation of beings and they ascend to become the perfect man. Uh, Musri explained as follows. This. So he said one uh, had the outward in the in now form of perfection and went to the rank of perfect man by further growth he is filled with divine morality he came to perfection of gnosis and reached the universal intellect the starting point and 
uh, the starting point of this circle was to be the first intellect and the, the final point was to be perfect man. So it was mentioned earlier that there were ranks of each beings in second arc circle. It is also only a small number of humans who have a potential uh, to find their perfect state. There begin uh, beings whose journey is signed by the stage of descent and ascent and that cannot find their perfection. Musri describes such beings as follows. So I'm skipping this uh, notation. We can see that this part is based on microscopic perspective as if Musri himself entered into perving ex existence and passed through all beings. Uh, considering what, uh, so, uh, so um, I'm skipping this part. Uh, I'm uh, introduced the Mastery's poems uh, as a debris work. So we can see the this um, poem. Uh, 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 so um, uh, so I'm uh, skipping uh, this part uh, and uh, I'm uh, I want to uh, introduce the According to Musri, human beings have two faces, and they are those whose back face or interform seated is not that of human beings, but that of animals such as monkey or pig. When these two sides of, uh, are united and become human beings in true sense of the word, they become the perfect man. And Musri argued that become the perfect man means to attain eternal happiness, uh, like this quotation. So uh, moved on the, uh, the part of examination. Uh, based on Musri's explanation, I would like to define devil as a Sufi theory on perfection, tekamir in Turkish, in which the existence emanates from the oneness, manifested as uh, all beings, and finally returned to him again by leading the perfect man. And um, intuitive knowledge on the rank of all beings with the perfect man at the top, which is brought it as a vision through mystical experience. Uh, looking only at basic structure as of David, we can see that it's not unique to Ottoman Sufis or Islamic thought based on the theory of unity of existence. Uh, so, Mm. I want to explain the significance of this desire fear as, but I have no time enough uh, now. So I moved on to the uh, uh, view of Muhammad Nur al-Arabi's. So Nur al-Arabi is explaining about the uh, uh, legal uh, 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 found it, found it. Uh, mean, it means a lawful devil. Uh, he's explained that this way. Uh, I, uh, as I show you in a poem uh, by Musrid, he uh, commented uh, on it uh, uh, this, like this, and uh, he uh, decided, uh, he uh, uh, clarified what is the lawful devish. So uh, you can see the quotation in pre uh, <laughs> So I apologize for the times at the end. So conclusion, uh, this paper, uh, this uh, presentation uh, attempted to discuss the concept of a devish inherited by Sufis of the Ottoman, Empire, Ottoman period, dealing mainly with Risale de Brie, written by Niazi Musri, who is an Akbarian Sufi, along with ecstatic saying, Chathie of Sufis. De Brie has the most mystical ideas in Sufi thought, and its representation quite fascinates the readers. 
The concept of a devil has been the subject of many uh, recent works and is considered to be an intuitive knowledge like a vision acquired in practice and mystical experience, as we see in the poet. Uh, it has been passed down as an image through the effect of abstract poetic expression rather than conveyed through logical verbal explanation. Therefore, there, there were some devils that could be interpreted in multiple ways. Among them, the real work by Victor C. Poet, who are said to have believed in ideas close to reincarnation, has been the focus of much attention in the research so far. The correct devil. Uh, as reveals in the prose descriptions of Nia Zimustri and Nur Arabi, is a theory of emanation of and the return to all beings in a circle based on the theory of uni unity of existence and the concept of perfect man. We can read their writings as an um, interpretation on the universe and human beings by Sufis who were influenced by Ibn Arabi's teaching. Sufis in Anatolia has not been studied much, and it is a new research topic in the field of Islamic thought. To clarify the gene genealogy of Ibn Arabi thought in Anatolia, which has widely influenced, by, influenced the Islamic world, is a necessary step uh, for the further development of this new topic. The question of how the theory of unity of existence have been interpreted, interpreted uh, in Anatolia is a major focus of my research. The reason why I have referred to Sufis such as Niazi Musri and Nurul Arabi as Aquarian Sufi is to make the impact of their ideas more obvious. Analyzing the usages of terms developed in an Akbarian tradition, we can see their own interpretations on technical terms and find the, the unique point. The concept of devil and the circle of this existence, which are also unique concepts in the history of Islamic thought from the Ottoman, Ottoman period to the Republic of Turkey, is different definitely a theme that should be pursued in the future in order to understand the development of diverse thought in Anatolia. Referring to more various materials, I would like to continue my research on Anatolia Sufism, which was the most active during the Ottoman period. So thank you for listening, all of you. Uh, I'm sorry for the uh, late the time. So. Okay.